Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time and let's go straight to today's video. All right, so today we have this Furman 4550 watts generator. And today I'm going to show you how to repair a generator that won't start and it's leaking fuel out of the carburetor. This is a common issue and with a few tools and some basic know-how, you can get your generator up and running again. So let's get started. But first, let's take a look at the problem. So if your generator, once you open the fuel valve, starts leaking fuel through the carburetor, let's say between the block and the carburetor, so this spot right here, that is caused by a few different issues, but most commonly is due to a stuck float or a bad needle ball. So let's go ahead and remove the fuel that is left inside that carburetor bowl, and then we proceed to remove the entire carburetor. With the filter cover off, remove those four screws, then you'll be able to get this piece out of the way. You get access to the two nuts holding the plate. Also, there is one bolt in the back. Once you get all those out, you'll be able to get access to the carburetor. Make sure when you're pulling it out to carefully remove the throttle linkage and the throttle spring. Now the last thing I need to remove is the fuel line which is attached to the carburetor. Take that out and you completely have the carburetor in your hands. With the carburetor removed, it's time to disassemble it. So this is how a carburetor looks inside when it sits for months and months with fuel that has no treatment. It turns into this varnished brown color which clocks everything on its path. But let's take a look at the float and the needle. You can clearly see the float moving up and down but the needle stays in the same position. Here I force it quite a bit and it start moving the needle a little bit. Now the needle is moving up and down as well, but we need to take it out and clean it. Use your favorite carburetor cleaner product, but if you don't have any, you can find some in the description below. Let's grab some wire brushes for those tough areas and some carburetor cleaning kit brushes for those tight spaces. Now that the bowl is clean, let's move on to the float needle. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the main culprit of why fuel leaks out of a carburetor. When the float needle is stuck in the open position, the tank will overfill the carburetor bowl, leading to the leakage. The float needle looks pretty good, but the hole that it sits in is dirty. It's sticky, so let's clean that out. We also know that the generator is not starting, so let's take a look at that main jet and see how it looks.
that is clogged. That's all it takes for a generator not to start. Let's remove the emulsion tube as well and see how it looks like. Okay, so let's talk about the main jet. This is the main reason why generators won't start. You see how small that hole looks? Let's clean it up and see how it really should look like. Now look at that, a big, big difference. No wonder fuel cannot go through and mix with air for generator to start. Now let's make sure the emulsion tube is also really clean. So look around, you should see through all the holes in it, get a small wire and clean them up. This one, you see the top ones right now, they're fully clogged. So I'm gonna get a small wire, clean them up. Let's continue spraying down the rest of the carburetor. Once that clean, let's insert back the emulsion tube and the main jet. Now that we're done cleaning the bottom side of the carburetor, let's focus on cleaning the top side of the carburetor. Use some wire to clean the small holes and spray carburetor clean it through them. Now this is another important part you gotta make sure you clean in the carburetor. So underneath this idle screw, you will find your idle jet or pilot jet. You take it out, make sure you have a small wire so you can clean that small hole that it has right there. Also make sure that both of its small O-rings are in great conditions. If they are stretched out or broken, you are gonna have idle issues. Once everything is clean and dry, 
reassemble the carburetor. Now let's reinstall the carburetor on the generator. Don't forget to reconnect the fuel line and linkages, then bolt the carburetor back in place. Don't forget to tie the bottom bolt, make sure your front and back gasket are in great conditions and that your throttle linkage and spring are connected. All right, carburetor in place, fresh fuel in the tank. Let's do the first test and see if we got any leaks. That's great, no fuel coming out of the carburetor. Now let's try to start the generator and see if it runs. And there you have it, the generator is running smoothly, and there's no more fuel leakage from the carburetor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Tactical Power Pro for more how-to repair videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.